Okay, so, um, chapter 24, we have a beach time meeting with the Sabbat under a blood moon. So, I'm going to have my gun loaded with no uh, normal bullets rather than silver. Same. Mm -hmm. You are essentially in the car, you have just gone away from the motel after more or less cleaning up over there. So, you have... Beach isn't that far, 5-10 minutes to prepare on the way there, talk amongst yourselves. We should probably take uh, the semi-auto shotguns with us. This is a good idea, I don't think it is. <laughs> Whatever it is, they're there. And, I mean, we can't just let what seems to be, what is Sabat members essentially, to just slip out of our fingers. Imagine how that looks on us. What are we yeah. going to write by this report? I don't know, that they were like idiots called us over and we just shot them all. <laughs> or I, mean, the right I an think ambush. that's the usual thing we do people do with uh, Sabat infiltrators. Look, I really don't know why they trust us. But we have to take advantage of that, if they seemingly trust us. Why do we trust them? We don't, that's where we're taking the shotguns. <laughs> <laughs> and the grenades. Seems like it's just gonna be another wolf incident, where we get fucked. We all survived that one, and they won't have aggravated damage this time. You say that... I wouldn't bet on that. You have your talk with the Sabbat. You ambush them. The Sombre Elder steps out from behind the changing booth. Oh, you know, you didn't! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, with Streetwise Keegan. What difficulty? Ah, uh, six, but essentially you're gonna need multiple successes, depending on how much of the stuff you end up getting, essentially. Alright. Okay. I'd say you can get either... Well, you can get one gun. Either the... Uh, backup, or whatever you wanted the extra small ones for. I'll get the backup. Okay. And you wanted that loaded with silver? Yes. Okay. So... Um, consider it to be like a heavy revolver, but it considered as having half range, because it's shorter barrel, essentially. Gotcha. Okay, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Um, so since we're going over there, by the time it takes us, we already said like in about an hour or so. Um. Why not see about and being on the beach, of course, which well, you have gives us a lot. Well, you are already in the town, the beach is five minutes away. No, 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 not that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Essentially, why don't we see about carefully, like not be going directly to the beach, but instead maybe use the advantage of them being on a beach and being nearby buildings? to maybe first scour out the place, see their actual number, and see if how much of it is a trap, and how much of it is an actuality that they believe. Basically do some recon work first. Is this before the meeting? Yes, before the meeting. Presumably, like, even, like, we can arrive technically late if we can, like, make it seem like so if we hide well. So, if we come before them and scout out the area, well, that's good. Then if they try to hide or something, we know where. But even if they came before us, we can yeah, still scout I, out. I like this idea. Um, just stop a block away. I'll, I can be pretty quiet. I'll scout ahead. Okie dokie then. So, Tasha, so, 
ends up rolling deck stealth. Uh, somebody should go with her, though. Buddy's I can stone. go with her. Fuck's sake. I can move fast if I get into trouble. The whole point is to be unnoticed, isn't it? I can also do this exact same thing. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Don't give me sass. You know... You're not wasting time. Let's go. All right, let's go. Deck stealth, Keegan. You would have covered a willpower for last session. So, you want to... Okay, describe to me the sweep you're trying to make. Tasha's idea was to just creep close enough to get a clear view of the beach, maybe move along the back alleys. Like, just essentially not go onto the beach, but stay under the cover of buildings and see if she notices anyone. I'll do the same. Okay, in that case, uh, give me perception alertness. Well, I'll spend a willpower on this. Okay. That. And let's see. Okay. So, essentially, there's a few dunes, a few buildings here, and uh, you are able to notice that there is a single person standing on the beach, but as you look more carefully, you notice at least two canine shapes. Dogs. Either under changing boots or just casually pretending to sleep behind a uh, trash bin somewhere where they're out of view almost completely watching the beach. The two that you see seem to have their eyes mostly focused on a woman that's standing on the beach. And you had two and three for stealth. Okay, that's a fail. And, uh, yeah, as you do this, you realize that one of the dogs has turned your way. It's just tilting its head, looking at you. It hasn't made a noise yet, but it's clearly considering. My way? Uh, yes, your and Tasha's, essentially. Just gonna pretend I don't notice. Okay, just move away, non threatening, just a passerby. Yep. Okay, give me a charisma animal can roll. Hmm. Dash is gonna do the same. Right, so these are actually just dogs. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yep. You move away. You just hear a low growl behind you, but it's not following you. It's just possibly warning you away. You're able to 
move away from them without being attacked. Seems odd. There's like two dogs or a couple? Um, you saw two, but the fact that the ones you did notice were kind of positioned in a way to conveniently minimize the chances of being seen, you think there's a good chance the dogs are with her. I'm gonna have to report this. Okay, yeah, dogs. Uh... <laughs> oh, fuck. Tasha just checks that her gun is loaded, snaps it close, <laughs> reholsters it. Oh, fuck, let's get back to the car. I'm right there if you Okay. Like five minutes later, they're already back. Oh, she looks a bit spooked. It seemed empty, but there are a couple of weird dogs, and they were placed a little too conveniently. Yeah, yeah, no, it's. Uh, I'm gonna call it now. That's that's probably a gangrel. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. And yeah. I have a certain feeling that's the culprit. Makes a kid did you him. did you guys notice uh so there was who was on the beach? Essentially the dogs and it, there was just one bitch standing in the open and we saw two dogs. There's probably more. Uh did you maybe pass have a pass by on the buildings or any other hidden places where others could be hiding? No, one of those fucks noticed us and started growling. We had to get away from there. Fair enough. So, um, well, I thought we'd get get more information, but uh, my fault. So, what do you guys think? We should just just go down there. You're the one who wants to have this fucking meeting. Our, fuck, our guns are in the back. If we're gonna go, let's just set up and go. We'll, uh, at least we now know what she has with her, at least some of it. If they're normal-ish dogs, a bullet to the head should do it. Probably do old it. dogs, if they're not gang, if they're not actually shape well, Hopefully not. Uh, just before we go, can somebody just uh, send some basic information to the sheriff just in case anything happens? Uh, I mean, what should we send? Going to meet with the Sabat. <laughs> if we don't come back, please don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> You see Tasha, she's already written something, she looks at you, thinks for a second, and you just see her raise the entire thing. Yeah, she probably wouldn't understand the joke. <laughs> um, so how should I word this? Isaac is meeting with the Sabbat is probably <laughs> not a good way to start. Yeah. <laughs> no, probably not. Okay, you know, maybe... It's a better idea if we kill them first and then report. <laughs> I agree with this plan. Okay. That necessitates us actually killing them. Well, could... has anyone actually among talk to one of them? I mean, technically, I talk to them. I mean, I know how this sounds, but we could hear what she has to say before we start shooting. Ask questions for a shoot later, right? I ha I'm having a hunch on what you're referring to, but let's not, Tasha. 
we've heard about this shit for a reason. Yeah, and from who? The fucking suits in the fucking tower. No offense, Kirk. I know you have a promising <laughs> career. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> How about... You know what? 50-50 for you, okay? I mean, I would Listen. like... If I would suggest we prioritize our survival over killing all of the support at this meeting, at least. So I guess it's a uh, listen, talk, and uh, in 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 maybe later if they lower their guard or something, then we do it. I mean, you get a text message. Are you done scouting yet? Fucker. Fuck. <laughs> uh. Second message. Oh. I warned you I had backup. Stop being a bitch and get over here. Ooh, she told him. You know, I so hate that out of character when somebody calls me pussy, I do it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, I have to... Did she just say just you or was it everyone? Just don't remember. Uh, to yeah, recap, everybody. the idea was that, hey, let's you and me meet, and like we'll both have backup nearby, obviously, to rush in if things go south. Well, um, I guess it's it's me then. Uh, so you guys stay behind. Uh, maybe while she and her dogs are there see about finding if they're where the other fucks are and that's it i'm let's do this well i should probably be somewhere close by so i can summon my tentacles on here on her if things go south like line of sight on her i'm trying i suppose me and tasha can probably be closer to the dog so if anything happens we'll just jump them yeah, so no, you, you do you. I'm getting on a roof with a rifle somewhere. That, that would be good. ideal. I don't think we should split up, but like, if you, we could go on a roof and... How dark is it on the beach? It's a small town, and it's like 1am past that at this point, so... So, full of shadows! Full of shadows, but hard to make her out. If you are yes. far enough away, so... Mm. Look, I'll go down alone, and the rest of you split into two groups and spread out a bit, I suppose. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We we have an assault rifle, right? Whoever coming is coming with me should take that. It has a bit of range. Yeah, I'll take the assault rifle. I can actually fire that, funnily enough. I'm I'm just gonna go with C CEO. Is that your revolver? Yeah, that is my revolver. <laughs> okay. And... Okay, so the groups are Jackalort and Tasha, and Keegan and Ayaxi. You two going nearer to the dogs, where you can hopefully tie up some of the reinforcements? I guess. I mean, well, should Nate, me and do whatever you want, I'll just... Go ahead. I'll just be near the dogs. He could probably be closer to Isaac in case anything happens. Yeah, uh, should we, uh, should me and Tasha roll with stealth, or should we all roll with stealth? Uh, you should roll with streetwise to pick out a position. Sure. So, all of you except Isaac should, and each group essentially takes the highest result of the two rolls. Nice. This is what streetwise? Uh, yes. Okay. Oof. You, um... <laughs> you managed to break into a hot dog van. And you're just peeking out behind a curtain. You can just see the figure of the woman on the beach. Whichever one of you is peeking out. Tasha? 
Well, what's an appropriate location? There's like a two-story building she breaks into. And there's just an open window up there on the second floor that someone forgot to close where she can conveniently... Well, actually, both of you can conveniently peek out and then just easily get into firing positions if it should become necessary. Demi, if you yeah. would, you may place yourself on the beach. And uh, Jackalor, make me a perception alertness roll. We're gonna call it a difficulty 8, because there's a fair bit of distance and it is dark. Can I spend willpower? Yes. I will. Okay. Two successes. Okay, you're not going to realize this immediately, but you are able to recognize her as the woman who escaped you previously. She was part of the group that tried to off the prince. Oof. Oof. So, to keep sort of in line that this is dangerous and that you know, I'm going to. Can I roll appearance intimidation to at least exude that sort of, you know, presence? I suppose. Go ahead and roll. Difficulty. Difficulty six. She knows she's on Camarel territory. <laughs> okay. okay. Pretty good. When you walk up, you see that she has claws extended and was in the process of slowly. Carefully typing out another message. It's apparently really awkward when you have those out. <laughs> Good evening. Ah, you're here. Yeah, guess I am. Didn't expect to see a Ventru here. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. And I'm just gonna look at her like, you know, dog ghouls. The dog ghouls are next to her, right? Or uh, No, they're not uh, in clear view. Oh, okay, so they're actually away. Okay. Yeah, they... There wasn't enough time to describe the uh, exact distance in detail, but they're not next to her. They're concerned. You know, like, you know when on a beach, there's like the actual beach portion, and then maybe 10, 15, 20 meters away, there's all kinds of boats and usually like a street with vendors of all kinds. They were concealed among the buildings somewhere up there, the ones they saw. There might be others a little closer, but it's open enough that neither of your help is in the other party's face. Okay. Uh, just to note, since this is a dangerous situation, uh, I'm going to spend, for now at least, three blood points, uh, upping dexterity to five. Okay. I'd shake your hand, but, uh, you know, precautions. Right. Not menacing at all, and I, what I was expecting to be a more, hopefully, peaceful conversation. Well, I do have to take precautions. After all, I know what the Ivory Tower types... ...tend to tell pretty much everyone... ...about people like me, it, and I... ...honestly, I'm surprised you didn't try to take a shot at me. Well, um... I mean, it would be pretty rude when somebody says, let's talk, and then I, well, I fire a bullet. So, if I may ask then, what do you, what would you say then to describe yourself? Well, I... <laughs> Alright, that's an interesting angle to... Uh... I'm a kindred that doesn't give a fuck about bullshit rules. Simply put, I live my own life the way I want to live it, without being anyone's bitch. So... 
an anarch, essentially. Or is it more? The anarchs. <laughs> I, the anarchs are a fucking joke. 95% of them make grand speeches and then go back to kissing the prince's ass in the evenings. Fair enough. No, Fair. I... I simply put, don't believe in anything restraining kindred from their rightful place. You um, are told to what? Guide from mortals, watch your every move, make sure that nobody finds out. You live like a rat, and that is frankly bullshit. Could I uh, just roll in intelligence or call just to see the full grasp of what I know about the Sabbat? Or uh, that politics? would be an intelligence politics role. Okay. Uh, difficulty? I would call this a 7 because you're trying to figure out the actual truth rather than people's just, you yeah, know, yeah. spin on this, so. From what you've heard, you're pretty sure they do have a hierarchy of sorts and it isn't all mm. as freeing as she might suggest because frankly they would not be able to do as much damage as they supposedly do if they had no hierarchy at all fair enough especially since the camarilla supposedly outnumbers them in you know a lot of ways so if i just may ask on a bit of reasoning i suppose Factions being factions, sects being sects, um, do you not also have a hierarchy? I mean, of a sort, but it's a hierarchy based on merit, not on simply being the oldest. If you tried to overthrow the prince, you would get fucked by pretty much everyone. In the Sabbat, if you manage to kill the bitch, well you would have earned, if not her place, then a place higher on the totem pole. It, it's a system made to do one simple thing. To keep you licking the boots of the fuckers who are older, but not necessarily better. Fair enough. And the whole hiding against... I mean, considering that it's not a worldwide known thing. Boy, um, we used to be kings. Many people used to be kings. Kindred used to rule over the mortal herd. And the likes of the Camarilla have reduced us to hiding in the shadows like rats. Do you really want to spend eternity Worrying about someone having a camera phone out. But considering the fact that it's not on an actual global scale, there is some hushing up that is done. Is this not true, or...? Listen, that... How the leadership chooses to pursue the war that's up to them. Sure, maybe up to a point some hiding is necessary. But we are trying to change that and the Camarilla just wants to enforce it. So you'd... From your, essentially, perspective, you'd want to go back to being kings over mortals and such, of course, Wouldn't right? you? Well... I'll... Okay. I suppose I have I, a I, more I, of a connection. There's a difference in between being a king in the open and a king from the shadows as well. Yeah, yeah, I, and I'm starting to realize that maybe trying to ex make a venture understand is... It's kind of a mot a big ask. I mean... Personally, I'm always open to talk, but of course, I have my own stance, but it doesn't mean that I'm 
that thick head is, as you may believe. Okay, consider this. How quickly do you think someone like your sheriff could disassemble anything we do? She'd barely break a sweat, right? Instead, you're out here risking your own life, in case I turn out to be hostile. Does that seem fair? Fair? But are you not also here, in essence, risking your life for something else? Nobody ordered me to talk to you. True, but did somebody order you to come basically here to Houston to do something? Such as the Tiger incident. Oh, you... Yeah, typical. I figured that would get uh, blamed on the nearest Sabbat. No, that wasn't me. I just knew per people would come snooping around. Perception empathy. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, difficult. Yeah, six. I'm just gonna oh. roll her manipulation. Oof. She seems Both honest. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. I'd love to believe you, I would really, but the circumstances and suspicions and timing... Hmm, it seems to all be a bit maybe of a coincidence. Maybe a bit too exact. Do how, considering also that you seem to have, well, a number of other animals, is there any way that you can prove these allegations? Okay, let me. I'm right next to a Camarilla stronghold. Dogs are easy to hide. A tiger is not. How much do you think I enjoy getting shot? Last I remember, or at least told, a tendency to, and as you say, not even hide from mortals, having a very dangerous tiger on the loose would create problems. And maybe even lure some people to this part of town. Which is why I'm asking. Well, in that case, you're pretty fucking boned because you apparently came exactly where I invited you. Suppose, yeah, actually at this beach. A beautiful night, isn't it, uh, as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it kind of is. So, <clears throat> when you did invite me to talk, how did you feel this would end? Honestly? I just wanted to offer you an alternative, if you aren't interested. Feel free to walk away. If you have any questions, I'll answer them. Other than that, not getting shot, stabbed, burned or whatever, well, I'll count it as a successful meeting. Fair enough. But, of course, in the case that, well, we don't, that hopefully nothing ends up going awry at this point, we do return and more problems are created, presumably by your side. It puts also us at a very big risk. Okay, roll initiative. She thinks she knows where this is going. <laughs> That is perfect. Let's do this, bitch. Should we roll initiative as well? Uh, yes, but you're gonna join after they each have their first round, because they're both initiating. You're further away and watching from a distance with not great visibility. So, Solomon is the man on the moon now. Yep. He has ascended to the highest circles of mastery. <laughs> Get to the first circle, so to say. Uh, I have better. Uh, you, yeah, you do. Jacklor goes first. Wow. 
Oof, ghoul dogs. No, stop. Oh, Bill goes first. See, you say stop, Demi. That's a lot of dogs. Holy shit, there's a lot of dogs. Yeah, but where's the um tiger now? Uh, you don't know. Tiger has obfuscate, guys. Okay, so... Um, you realize as she shifts forward that... She's done talking. Mm -hmm. Um, you declare first. I assume oh, you yeah, had a uh, follow-up prepared for when things exploded. Yeah, I'm going to spend a um, another two blood points for dexterity. Mm -hmm. um, and what I'm going to do is... Uh, yeah, I can do this. And hopefully it works. <laughs> Defensively dominate her to freeze. Okay. Put that mind gen to use, man. I know, that's what I'm hope that's what I'm betting on, my dude. Okay. Um she is gonna employ a discipline. Let me just find the specifics. Ah yes, is this also known as precision? No. Oh, that would be funny. Let's see. I just need to figure out if this uses a blood point. No, it does not. Uh, the beckoning. Animalism 2. She awoos to the dogs. Oof. Awoo. <laughs> oh, that's what I realized oh, when you guys said Solomon's on the moon. Oh, okay. Okay. And you realize that there are a lot of figures stepping out. There's like That's one wild. behind a bench on the beach, another one behind a trash bin, couple near the promenade, and there's dogs. Sounds about right. And Bill was somewhere behind them. <laughs> what was behind the dogs? <laughs> I think Solomon was as well, so we're gonna say that it's like that. And Dasha and Kirk were covering Isaac's path of retreat. So like that. And now it's normal initiative. Solomon, the dogs are moving. Shia Wood. Looks like shit is on. What do? Uh, how hard is it to set a dog on fire? Um, Considering that you're not that far away, if you move up for your normal half move, two successes. Otherwise, Something it'd probably be three. Yeah, huh. Yeah, I will... I will try for it, yes. I will move up and hope I get two successes. Okay. Ghoul Dog 1. is gonna leap at Isaac. He's not gonna make it and be able to attack this turn, but he's gonna rush right up to Isaac. Isaac, what oh, do? No. You realize where this is going, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, technically before she would, I prepared the defense on it, but uh, I, my turn is... Um... Yeah, she wasn't attacking you, so... Yeah, yeah. Blood buff one more dex and just shoot that bitch in the face. Did you have your gun out while you were talking with her? Uh, I mean, she had her claws out, so I mean, I would have done the same. Yeah, fair enough. Besides, I mean, that's why I was also using the appearance intimidation, essentially. Okay. Uh, ghoul dog two and three. I'm gonna rush right up next to you. That's a lot of dogs, guys, near me. Please uh, send them. Uh, Vanessa is gonna step right up next to you, swipe at you with the claws, and put two blood points into Fortitude. 
Because she knows what's coming. <laughs> Kirk. I'd like to summon tentacles. Okay. On her? Yes, on her. Okay. Dog four and five. Uh, actually, uh, real quick. Yeah. Can I make the tentacles like appear when she's uh, at uh, next to uh, uh, the Isaac? Sure, I'll allow it. Yes. You forgot Tasha, by the way. Ah, fuck it. Come on, uh, Tasha, I need you to fucking break, break, break. No! <laughs> uh, uh, Tasha is gonna try and headshot the nearest dog. Because she feels like you're gonna get overwhelmed if she doesn't. And I think she might have heard something about a dog being involved. I think Keegan might have mentioned it to her. That the dog helped with that encounter. So I think she knows how deadly they can be to vamps. Yes. Okay. And yeah, all of the dogs are essentially rushing towards Isaac. Bill. Alright. Um, do I have a clear shot for all the dogs or no? You have, I'm gonna say, a clear shot to one right now, and uh, you're gonna have a clear shot to at least one more as it's rushing down if you choose to wait until he's moving out of cover to take the shot. If I use celerity, would that be out of cover for that dog you're talking about? Uh, if you use celerity, those shots will happen by the, at the time they've already made it to Isaac. Hmm. So, what you could do is you could move up for the normal half jog, take a shot at the dog that Solomon is about to set on fire, which might be enough to finish them off, with both of you, you know, fucking things up. Or, alternatively, completely different suggestion, you have a lot of celerity. If you yes. full run now, and then start attacking with celerity actions, you would be within short range of the whole furball. You'd be close enough to really support Isaac. And I would have my gloves on with the pistol, the heavy pistol. Okay. So that's the steel ones, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so you want to rush down there? Uh, sure. Okay. So, Isaac, you just see this sea of dogs stand up and some they all start rushing towards you at different speeds and you see behind them catching up, Bill coming out, just hoofing it towards you. So... Or... Huh. Bite actually has plus one accuracy. Really? really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's on Close Combat Maneuvers table, page 287 of the PDF. That's lovely. We usually fuck up something about combat. Don't worry, it's a tradition. Uh, Kirk. So, she moves up, and then you are summoning tentacles. Trying to interrupt her action. Sly warned you not to get clawed. Well, yes, but, you know, is Sly gonna help this game time? He might, if he's nearby. Roll a luck die, Demi. Hey. He might be nearby. Do I take a shot, or...? Uh, your shots happen at the end of the normal initiative, because it's celerity actions. What about my primary action, or is that just run? Yeah, you spend that just getting up close, because you have to full right. run. Can we say my bodyguard was guarding the car while we were gone? Sure. So we don't have to bother with him? Yeah. 
You hear gunfire from where you left the car. <laughs> of course you did. No, no, it's fine. There, there's nothing, just silence. Jekyll, roll for your uh, tentacles. Uh, can I spend the power on this? No. Manipulation of code. Seven dice at... Big money, big money. Come on. Yes! yes. Shit! Okay, so all around her. Yep. And uh, they're all attacking her. And start rolling. They get three dice to hit? Uh, yes, unless you have celerity. Okay. Well, she is grappled at least. Uh, she's gonna board into a dodge. Because fuck that noise. Actually, no, she. She has been with La Sombra before, if only briefly. She knows that this is bad, Spendwell PowerPoint. On what? Uh, aborting Boarding? into the dodge. Oh, okay. And she just uh, dodges the swipe. Fair enough. Uh, Tasha. Got a dog, Tasha. <laughs> Actually, no, 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 that's 12 dice of firearms. Specialty? Uh, no, an NPC. But one of the dogs coming from further away, you just see collapse halfway there as the shot rings out. Is it dead? It's missing half of its skull, you're pretty sure it's dead. Yep, understandable, have a nice day. I love Tasha. So, now it's my turn, right? Uh, Ghoul Dog 2 rushes up as well. And now it's your turn. Well, um, I didn't declare that I'd move back, because I didn't... But, so, essentially, just point blank in her fucking face was what I declared. Okay, roll for it. So do these dogs count as large or normal? These count as large dogs, they're, they're killer dogs. They're, she picked them out for murdering things. <laughs> so that's uh, 11 dice of damage, Demi. Right, I was gonna, trying to remember what the damage was for Heavy Revolt. It's 6 damage. 6 plus 5, so 11, yeah. I wish specialties. 3. <laughs> Don't you have specialties? Why are you I'm so bad? Or dexterity. Well, at least you buffed. So, here's the fun news. She soaks it all. Wait. Oh, yeah. Mm. Fortitude is active. Ah, uh, yep. yeah, no, no, no. I'm just looking how much fucking stamina fortitude she has. That's... Mm, Did she seven spend... dice. That's her stamina. Fortitude is activated. Oh, she only has two points of fortitude. Um, Fair enough. She's probably just in a neonate, yeah. Bulldogs rushing up. Um, Solomon, with the distance they've opened up, you probably are going to need at least three successes here, but it should be possible. Just don't botch. Because then it goes into the fur ball in the middle with Isaac. I mean, if it's only difficulty 6, what's the chances I bought? You'll be fine, this is gonna go great. Oh no. Nah, not, not enough. Okay, so the firelight plays over the waves next to you on the surf. And, uh, next round. Solomon. Uh, let's... Oh, right, 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 right. You wanted to shoot the thing. Keegan? Well, since I'm up close, can I just punch them? Uh, no. You can shift targets by rolling willpower, but you were prepared to shoot a gun, so that's your attack action. 
I will let you right. aim for the head, though, if you wish. Which might put them down faster than shooting them, you know, in other places. But that, but that increases the difficulty? Yeah. Or is it 3 Probably damage will. to insta-kill them? It's 3 damage to insta-kill them after soak. Uh, okay, um, I guess I'll shoot. Um, I didn't declare how many times I was shooting, did I? Uh, no, Solarity. you didn't. You can shoot up to two times with a heavy revolver, so... Uh, I'm going to be using my pistol. Oh, then three pistol. times. Um, let's just do all three. Okay. So you're trying to kill as many dogs as you can? Yes. Okay. You are within point blank with three of them. So go ahead. Uh, let's shoot uh, the one right in front of me first. Mm -hmm. Five at six? Uh, yes, it's at six. Okay. So that's six damage. Uh, go ahead and make all the attack rolls first, and then we'll do the damage. What if I kill it with one shot, or can I spare out assume, my shot? I'm assuming that you're essentially trying to execute each dog in turn. Alright. Okay, that one misses. That one is five dead. Uh, five. No, that's... Uh, so the first one is 7 damage, the second one is 6, because aiming for the head is a plus 1 to damage as well. Right. Okay. This one dies. With an eep, the bullet goes through the... Uh... Well, he's turned away from you. It probably goes through the ear and bounces around inside the skull. Bye, doggo. Rest in peace. And say that it's this one. This one takes a damage. Okay, and now we're on to the next round. Solomon, what do? Um, if I move up, is it how many successes do I need to set something on fire? If you move up, uh, I'd say. I'd say it would still be three, but you could, you would essentially be close enough to hit anything in that fight with three. Uh, then I will buff Dex by one and set and just use the whole turn to move up. Okay, in that case you can be pretty much next to the fight, and after that you can hit with one success. I assume you let the fire that you ignited previously go out. Yes. Okay. Hey, uh, um, Ghoul Dog, one would like to uh, make Corn proud, rip, tear, and kill. Tell me what do. Um, way, they're still coming for you. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go full defensive. Okay. So do the, the whole, you know, the dodge action every time, basically. Yeah, Ghoul Dog two would like to make Corn uh, proud. Do you buff your stamina, by the way. Fair point, actually. <laughs> um, I'd like to... Fuck it, I'll do three blood points. Uh, you actually, can't. Hold up. I, yeah, I'm generation yeah. two. Uh, two, so four stamina. You're not generation two, you wish you were. Uh, cool Dog 2 would like to rip, tear, and kill. Tasha would like to proclaim that uh, Korn is the worst of the Chaos Gods and shoot a dog. Uh... Vanessa? Well, fuckity. This has gotten, um... Uh, horrible. So... What do? Well, not much to do, is there. Try and slice the fucking ventru. If only she knew. Actually... How much of a betrayal this was.
Yet she still doesn't know how many of you there are here. She assumes some of these might be ghouls, etc. She's gonna go full defensive. Kirk, what do? Well, I'd like to shoot her in the uh, uh, shoot her or shoot one of the dogs with my assault rifle and have the tentacles all attack her. Okay. Ghoul dog five does increase her. Uh, by the way, does her difficulty go up only after successful hits? No, she is engaged, but there are allies nearby, and uh, honestly, I would say that it kind of evens out still because it's about. Besides, there are about equal for the ones engaged in melee. Okay. So, uh, Isaac isn't gonna be taking a penalty to dodging either, I would say. I mean, he might take a plus one, but it's close enough, we're gonna just say that penalties don't apply to either side at the moment. Okay. Uh, Gouldog5 <laughs> would like to fuck up Isaac's day. And Bill, what do? Uh, we can't hear you, you're robotic. Hey, breaking. Breaking news. Hello. Seems a little better. What do? Dog. <laughs> I heard dog. You want to kill a dog? Type it out, man. It's not working. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you want to punch a dog using potents. We'll also split how many ways. Okay, so the first attack happens now, the second after everyone has gone. So, go ahead and roll. Uh, which one? The one up there? Hello? Yeah, now we can hear you. Uh, okay, I, yeah. I, I'm gonna run I, in a circle around and punch this dog for, first. I would... Yeah, I'll let you. Nothing and if I, But if I split, I can't run back to punch one of the other dogs if I do uh, well? Yes, that is the problem. So if uh, you I'll, now... hope that Tash, I'll hope that Tasha or one of the other ones can kill that one. I would rather punch the closer. Okay. No, actually, I'm just going to go here and do both on this one. Okay. Go ahead. Run. And first, uh, we can't hear you again, kind of, sort of. You're in and out, but. You have a total of 10 dice, so assume 5 and 5, right? Okay, go ahead and roll. Egan, make the roll. Okay. So that would be six dice of bashing damage plus the three automatic successes. Go ahead and roll for damage. Oh, it's lethal and it's plus one, that's right. So, go ahead and roll for it. And just make sure you're tracking the uh, 
how many uses you are using so, these. Uh, so with my gloves, it's... It's a plus one lethal weapon, I think we said. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it would be seven dice of damage. Three okay, so you just see him like Wolverine slam his fists into its ribs from above, lift it up, and just shear it upwards and downwards, and dog guts cover your suit, Demi. God damn it, why is it always gruesome as fuck? It's it's still alive. It, it seems to be fading out, but it, it's crying on the ground the way dogs do when they're badly hurt. Jesus, dogs have AHP? No, I'm just describing how it's dying. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> you... Cunt. You, you just see bubbling flecks of froth from the wounds. It probably punctured the lung. This and is why you don't the, have viewers. The breaths are getting shallower. It, it's okay. Let me copy paste their nature so you understand why this is okay. This is their nature. <laughs> <laughs> Every dog is a good boy. Doubt. Jacklor, you wanted to target the gangrel. Yes, I'd like to attack with all my tentacles. Okay. And to turn the face. You are shooting one of the dogs. Don't change it now. Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm, you're right. They're shooting the dogs. Dasha is actually... I don't think I declared, but she would be shooting at the dogs as well. So, first face shot. I actually hit. Yeah, roll for it. But it's 8 damage because yeah. 7 plus 1 from head. Yep. Rip. At least these ones die quietly. Mm. <laughs> and not as gruesomely. Okay. Uh, start rolling the tentacles. First one is dodge, second one is dodge, Oof. third one hits, and uh, I'm gonna say that she ends up on the ground, because there's a lot of dog guts, and she's just looking around like, wait, why is there gut? Where are my dogs? What the fuck? So, uh, are tentacles plus one damage? Uh, yes, I believe so, and your potence adds to them. Uh, what? Potence adds to their strength rating as well. Yes. So it's... Should uh, be six. six but, uh, I think it should be six. Yeah, six. Sombra. Damn it! Which is the least grappled and on the ground. Okay. And... The last. Well, that's like attacks me. Uh, Tasha goes before that. Oh, uh, I went full defense for no reason. <laughs> you know, it's better to not need it and have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just hear a shot, and you see the dog collapse. And just, it's, somehow, it has a hole through its skull, its tongue is lolling out, its expression is blank, and it's just its four prows are still scrabbling towards you. That one's gonna take a while to die as well. No! <laughs> <laughs> Solomon, you rush up. There's one grappled vampire surrounded by allies and shadow tentacles and a lot of gruesomely murdered dogs. You yeah. 
combat is effectively over. Effectively, yeah. I don't think she's getting up. Well, not if you roll 8 damage on the first dice against something that can't soak it. Oof. I, I just like to tell everybody, uh, keep this bitch alive. I would like oh, to use my spell oh, action to punch her in the face. I'm <laughs> apple or not. I'm staying. I'm. I'm gonna roll willpower at eight to uh, change <laughs> targets. No, I'm joking. No, 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 no. If you want, do it. It's a joke. You said the combat is over. It's over. If you want to do it, you can. Nah, it's okay. I could threaten her, but no, it's good. I'm gonna go just go over to the dogs and just. Silently, just you know, snap your necks so they don't whine anymore. Okay. Is anyone hungry from those among the uh, corpses? No, let me check. Mostly me. I'm F. No, I'm not hungry yet. Okay. There is a lot of dog blood around, but you're not hungry yet. She, on the other hand. I'm stepping away. I'm not staying next to this bitch. Grappled or not. Luckily for you, she's still on the low end of humanity, so... By the time she snaps, she's so wrapped in tentacles that she's just snarling at you without being able to do much. Oh. So either is her. Uh, Wait, you, you fucking know, know this bitch? <laughs> Yeah, Why? she's been causing trouble for the prince. I'm sure uh, she, uh, the prince will want to talk to her personally. Well, that's this is a good catch. Also, thank you guys. Promising fucking career. Apparently knows the Sabbat somehow. Is anyone else worried about this? <laughs> I was going to ask it, but to be fair, we're technically also La Sombra, so there's like a little gray area. The Sabbat is more pathetic than I imagined. Uh, Tashi's just gonna... slowly raise the rifle towards both of you and take a s two steps back to be out of range of the tentacles. What do you mean, a grey area? <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, Isaac? Hold on, I'm still getting a bit flat. Fl uh, fl yes, dogs attack. Um, I was just mostly trying to poorly correlate that technically most Lasombra are in the Sabbat. So saying that Lasombra knows the Sabbat was kind of stupid of me to say, but ignore what I'm saying right now. Thanks again for uh, this. Uh, Chief. Sort of nods, half suspiciously, and turns the gun on Kirk. How the fuck oh. do you know this bitch? <laughs> Tash, uh, I, I, calm down. I, 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 the sheriff had me attack uh, her a bit. Alone! Oh, yeah, no, you! It was an emergency. Yeah, we should probably call the sheriff or something like for the Yeah, nature. no, fuck that. Pile the dog bodies in a pile. I'm gonna get some firewood. Uh, how much but... blood is there? Because I need a lot. Yeah, I'm calling the sheriff. I'm like, stepping a bit further away from the dog body so he doesn't get on the suit. If you drink whatever is left in these dogs, you can get five points. Yeah, I'm gonna need all those five points if I don't wanna go too low, so I'm taking it all, guys. Tasha just starts saying, but oh, if wait. you don't... Oh, fine. Wait, no, um, dumb question. These dogs aren't smokers, right? <laughs> 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 so I'm probably not gonna drink them, unless that affects it. Mm-hmm. Tasha is already dragging uh, one of the, uh, you know, wooden tables over here. Bill, could you, like, break this up? Let's build a fucking pyre. So I can't drink the dogs? Yes or no? Do you want to risk it? 
God, no. <laughs> then you probably shouldn't risk it. All right. Before I um, before I go over Tasha, I'm gonna ask: Do are we ask questioning her or any anything? Maybe or kinda... after she's done screaming. For fuck's sake! That body that Bill mangled at least needs to get burned. Guys, focus. Yeah. No, I want to ask if we... I'm going to take out a stake. Do we stake her now or later? Just stake her. Just do it. I'm going to stake her. She pauses to snarl. All right. Punch, 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 punch. I mean, just rip it apart. Okay. So... You build a fire. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. going to... I'm going to transport a single doggo out of just like four dogs and gotten used to being dirty and bloody. <laughs> you're gonna keep one of the bodies as evidence then? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, you're just, just carrying one. I'm just there. taking one. Ah, okay. Fair enough. So there's five points of blood you guys need. When you're done dragging them over. Okay, um. Well, Solomon, could you light this up? I'm gonna sure, I will. dunk myself I will in the ocean fire. and get this shit off me. She walks in. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'll you... do the same. I, I look at my fucking students like. <sighs> Just I'm... toss it on the fire! <laughs> There's a spare in back in the car. We'll need you for the police. You know, if there's one thing I'm really bad at, it's suit management. Okay. Goodbye, this other suit. <laughs> and I'm just gonna just just take it off and it's like, I'm so sorry, suit. This is like the sixth one. With the others, spare in my car if you want one. Okay, so you've done that. You are discussing that. Kirk is calling the sheriff. Um Someone needs to roll me a luck die. Jackalor, you're it. Your luck sucks. No. <laughs> Whoops, it easy. Here we go. Four. Okay. So you call the sheriff. She picks up. Uh, Kirk, something to report? Uh, yes, we captured a sabat, uh, sabat in, in, in the place where, near the, where the tiger attacks have been happening. Oh, well done. Uh, okay, uh, bring her over. Yes, we will. Uh, there was a lot of dogs, and if you could delay the police a bit. Oh, so we oh can... Kirk, 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 I warned you about this. We don't control pol the police over there. Oh, shit. And uh, as the... you hear that, you see the reflection of flashing lights up above near the promenade and the siren just cycling once. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh. <laughs> Let's go full on. It does a single whoop, you know you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'll try to bring her, but... We might have... Uh, there might be trouble. Damn it, Kirk. Sorry. Just fix it. I will. <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to... I, uh, by this point, I have de-summoned the tentacles, but so that... <laughs> since they're, they aren't needed anymore. It, you can de-summon the tentacles when you realize the cups are not in sight yet of you, so... You have essentially... Well, actually, Demi, you roll but a luck I die. I would have staked her, and that would have been before No! You have one turn before the cops are in sight to make preparations. The dogs are burning, she's staked. Bill and Tasha are in the water. The three of you are out in the open. I, I flip I... her over. I mean, yeah, I was... These you are tentacles! I'm probably actually already went after taking my thing off to the car, so how far away would I be from this? 
Uh, actually, in that case, you run into the cops as they are rushing towards the beach with guns out. And two naked. of them immediately stop and go, FREEZE! <laughs> You're naked, too. Well, not all entirely, but still. Well, oh his God. jacket is burning currently, but they shine a flashlight on you and there's enough blood on your shirt to paint a clear picture. Yeah, I would have taken everything off that's in blood. Okay, in that case, you are definitely topless. And there's <laughs> blood flecks on your face. Hands behind your head, get on your knees! <laughs> This is when you use Dominate. There's two of them, that's the worst problem. And there's two of them, and there's like four more fun. that are rushing past you towards the beach. Oof. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I want to do the stupidest thing ever, Jesus fucking Christ. Roll initiative. No, it's not that. I want to act like a fucking surfer who's just drunk. <laughs> <laughs> in suit pants good job i have to perform i got used to this like look look you don't realize you know i yeah, think I'm... this is a good position to take a break especially since i could kind of use one so why don't you guys take five minutes to come up with a plan we're fucked <laughs>